Hi guys, it's Dr. Angus Pike here, founder of What Actually Works, where we help people to get well and to stay well. And this time of year, I'm recording this actually in early January at the moment, is a time that many of us get really quite excited about um, New Year's resolutions. And all during the week at the office, I've been dealing with clients and I see emails going back and forwards. And it's a great time for us to set goals and plan for our year ahead. The sad thing is though, and I always caution people um, when they begin to set news resolutions, that if they're not done properly, then we set ourselves up to fail. Um, and most of us, if we look back over the times in the past that we've set New Year's resolutions, most of us, me included, have probably failed more times than we've succeeded. Unless we know the secrets of actually helping our New Year's resolutions really manifest. And I don't need to get all kind of esoteric and fancy with that. Um, but behavioural economics or behavioural change gives us really great clues in terms of what we need to do in order to help our, our, our New Year's resolutions really manifest. And I want to talk to you today about what I believe is, is the absolute number one key to that and that is that we get mixed up between the differences of outcomes and, um, and behaviors and so whilst I'm always really focused on outcomes you need to know what your end goal is and so you know if you're talking about business then it might be kind of you reaching new customers if we're talking about our body then maybe it's a change in um, you know in weight that you want to look after an increase in strength that you want to go to from there so you need to have an outcome um, in mind there too but we need to not stop at that outcome because we, we need to really move that down to a behavior. And to get to behavior, so I'm, I'm going to stick a, um, a, a, around an example of someone who wants to lose weight because that's one that many of us kind of start with into the New Year's resolution. So if your goal is that my outcome is that, you know, this year I want to lose five kilos and put whatever number is in there for you, understand that that's an outcome, not a behavior. So it doesn't really give you any clear direction. So if you ask yourself this really simple but incredibly powerful question, which is what has to happen to make that happen? And in fact, um, in their book Influence, so Kerry Patterson, that book was written by a couple of others too, they really talk a lot about behaviour change. They talk about finding vital behaviours. And so the kind of behaviour that's going to lead to somebody uh, losing five kilos is things that we talk about all the time, which is, you know, eating foods from nature. It's moving your body. So, you know, we've got to move our body slowly. We've got to move our body quickly. And occasionally we've got to lift heavy things. And so rather than setting our New Year's resolution around uh, losing five kilos, set your New Year's resolution around, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. You know, I'm going to have breakfast every day. You know, I'm going to move away from having five coffees a day. I'm going to uh, cut out this cranky food that I eat. I'm going to move towards getting, you know, six to seven and a half hours of good sleep every night. And so again, if, you're, if your goal was around something like or your New Year's resolution, was, it was something business related that you wanted to impact more people from there, then ask yourself, what has to happen to make that happen? You know, do you need to contact more people? And so very often it's simple things. So we know from behavior change experts that if we're to lie out our exercise gear first thing in the morning, then it increases the chances of us uh, getting up and going for a run or a walk in the morning. You know, if it's new eating patterns that you want to establish for the year, then you tend to eat what's in your house. And so when it comes down to eating, the most important thing is, is how you shop. And so it might be that your behavior change pattern rather than your outcome, which is to lose that five kilos, that the behavior that you're going to focus on, your New Year's resolution is, is that you're actually going to write a shopping list is that when you go shopping from now on is that you're only going to buy foods from nature. If it's not a food from nature, then you're not going to buy it from there as well. So what I'm going to encourage you to do this year with your New Year's resolutions is one, it's okay to reach for the stars, um, but make sure rather than focusing on what your outcome is, the end goal, immediately bring it back to what behaviors do you need to put in place. And so that'll really help you move forwards from there as well. So I'd love for you to share your New Year's resolutions. What are your goals? What are your plans for this, um, this year 2011? I really hope it is a great year for you. So please share those. Or if you've got other behavior change ideas, other tips that have worked really great for, for you, then I'd love you to share them here as well. It's a great opportunity for us to all to share with what is it that works uh, for you in this situation again. So please uh, post your comments down below. Um, we'd love to hear back from you. So again, this has been Dr. Angus Pike, uh, founder of What Actually Works, coming to you now actually from my beautiful backyard. So it's such a lovely day here today. I moved out of my office and into the backyard. So hope to see you again soon.